So Adam, tell us why you're here today and what you're doing and what you're going to show us how to do. What we're doing today is we're going to be doing a uh, side rack install for the SW Motex PLX side carriers for the Kawasaki ZX14. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get right into it. What we're going to start out uh, doing is we're going to take a 10 millimeter uh, socket and we're going to remove the rear license plate bracket. Just kind of hooks on the back in here and pops off with two screws. What makes this a lot easier is the fact that the SW Motec center stand has already been installed on this bike <laughs> so that we can get the bike in an upright position and access all the bolts easily. Center stand is a key accessory for any serious sport or adventure touring enthusiast because you are going to have to put a wrench on your bike at some point in time. Now that sounds good. But it's not. <laughs> Off comes the license plate bracket. You're going to reinstall the license plate bracket. Also uh, putting on the uh, rear attachment point for the side carriers. Using the hardware provided in the kit, we're going to reinstall uh, the two brackets. You want to be sure to use the washers that are all necessary uh, to get this installed properly. There we go. All right, now that the rear bracket's been installed, we're going to move on to the side. And you want to be careful that the exhaust is cool when doing this part of the installation because you do have to get close to it and you will burn yourself unless you have nice carbon fiber pipes. Okay, once you've gotten the two screws removed for the foot peg, you're going to be taking the longer of the two foot peg brackets and installing it behind this top screw point right here. Adam, show us the foot peg bracket um, in the, yeah, right there. How's that bad boy? Okay, that's the longest of the foot peg brackets, right? To be compared with the shorter of the foot peg brackets. All right, where does the shorter one go? The shorter one is going to be installed down here on the exhaust hanger bolt. Okay. Proceed, please. Simply, all you do, slide this behind between the foot peg and the subframe, the foot peg mount and the subframe, supporting it, and reinstall the factory hardware. Once you get the first bolt started, let the um, bracket hang take the spacer provided in the kit take the spacer provided in the kit and be sure to install it between the frame and the foot peg bracket on the second bolt also reusing the factory hardware the next thing you're going to want to do is to install the smaller of the two brackets uh, that go off this mount you're going to want to loosen up the, the exhaust uh, for that Again, we are going to be reusing the factory hardware, so make sure to hold on to all the nuts and the bolts uh, when you're taking this off. Once you've gotten the bolt off, take the uh, smaller bracket, making sure that you install it with the lock side in. Lock side, what do you mean by the lock side? Show me the lock side. This is the lock side. This is where the quick lock pin is going to engage onto the bracket to lock it onto the bike. Okay. You want to make sure that that's facing toward the inside of the bike so when the pin enters, it has the pl proper place to lock into. Okay. Install this. And again, this piece is slotted for adjustment like most of the other brackets are. So you want to be sure to leave this a little bit loose when you're doing the install so that when uh, it comes time to put the bracket back on it, uh, the, the side rack on it, rather. The autofocus on this thing works a lot better than the other two tri the tri All right. And you just want to make sure that you get these things snug enough so that while you're doing the install, they're at least hanging in the proper position so they won't be tightened down completely. And that is how you do the install on the first three brackets of the system. Uh, the next bracket is going to be a little more involved uh, but again, not impossible. 
what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to remove the side cowling right here and make a notch in the bottom to allow the bracket to pass through. You want to pause it first. Um, what we're going to have to do to start off here is actually take the rear plastics off of the bike. We're going to start out by removing the tail cowl. Be sure when you're doing any installation to have a nice work area, good workbench with your materials laid out so that you can access them easily. Now there is a third connection point for this tail cowl. It's a snap that goes on the back so be very ginger when removing it. So glad we have a spare tail cowl on here. <laughs> you can see it's a pressure fit, sorry, pressure fit plug. It just snaps into the receiver that's on the, the tail section of the the rear tail light housing. All right, what we're gonna do now is start the removal of the side panels. Um, and you're gonna be using a four millimeter out. Okay. There's a pop connector which is uh, holding on the last part of the rear cowling here. And you do want to remove, remove that pop connector most easily by pushing in on it. You push in on the center piece. Not on the center the piece, not the outside. At this point enlists the nearest female with long fingernails to get their fingers between the pop connector to actually get it out. <laughs> Does that mean me? Oh, you did step in there, Chief. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Yep. It helps that I didn't undo the top screws on the other side, and that should pop right out right now. Mm. There we go. Much easier. Now, be careful, because you are going to have to reuse these pop connectors uh, when putting the bike back together. Pop connectors are fun. When you push in the center, that's how you pop them out of the bike. If you want to reset them, you take the center of that uh, little pop connector and push it backwards. So it's now poking out of the head again. And then once you put the whole thing back in the bike, you push the center in and it locks. Woohoo. All right. Now that all the connectors are attaching the uh tail section have been removed. You're going to want to slowly and gingerly lift it off the bike. Now be aware there is a section here that is attached because of the blinker housing. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to undo the blinker housing very gingerly so that you can work on the cowling and it slides apart very easily. That was very ginger. Yes. All right. 